one out of every five dollars, health care dollars in America goes through Medicare. In 1935, when Social Security was started, 16 workers supported one retiree. That retiree lived, as we just heard, into their early 60s. Now three workers support, just three workers support one retiree, and they're likely to live into their 80s, like you, and well beyond. I know we're going to be back here 20 years from now having this conversation, mm -hmm. you and I. Hopefully. But this is not sustainable. Some say it's easy to fix, though, because it's just adjusting the numbers. What would your commission propose? What do you think is the realistic fix for this country? The, the real uh, the frustration for us, we thought Social Security reform would be the easiest thing to do. <laughs> We really did uh, because of the situation, and your figures are absolutely correct, but the life expectancy now is 78.1, and in four years it'll be 80. And this baby had retirement age of 65 when the life expectancy was 63. I mean, there's a reason why it worked for such a while, but <laughs> let me tell you, it is 900 billion negative cash flow in the next 10 years. 900 billion. And people are saying, what happened to the 2.6 trillion that they stole? They didn't steal anything. You mean the trust fund? Yeah, the reserves were there, and it said in the law, then you put in gilt-edged treasury bills, and you took the money and used it. And whenever they need the money, they give it to the federal government to get the money to pay. In May of 2010, there wasn't enough coming in to pay out. They took those babies, and they paid. But your bottom line here is, we just can't afford this. Well, what we did, you asked what we did. We said we'll give the lowest 20% of people 125% of poverty. That mm -hmm. costs money. We said we'll give the upper up 80 to 85 an extra percent per year. You, that, that takes money, too. And then we played with the Ben points. That's inside baseball. But the wealthier will pay more than the others. Because right now you have a cutoff at about 110,000. Well, we will raise, we'll mean, raise that go. to 190, and you can, you, people are talking about taking it off. That wouldn't cause me heartburn, but I've heard guys <laughs> say, well, if they take it off, I'll just quirk, we'll quit working so hard. Those people are real patriots, so we want to keep track of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then we did an we did extraordinary thing. Don't forget, the Social Security retirement age will be 67 in the year 2027. And don't forget that... And that was from the 1983 Social Security That's in the tax. law. Right. And so we said, mm -hmm. let's take the retirement age to 68 by the year 2050. And the AARP said, how will old people ever be able to prepare for that? Let me tell you, if they can't prepare for it, they got rock for brains. I mean, for the <laughs> God's sake. And, if, and this is serious business. This is dead serious. Yeah, but what they, but, but, but here's what they say, and not to not to pick a fight, but let's let's oh, have let's at it here for a minute. Fight. Okay, they say it, it's, but what what they say is it's easy to say that you know people live longer, but they still age. If you're a lineman or you're doing heavy work, you may not be able to do we that. We never then. touched that. We left that exactly where it is. People who've been in the steel mill, people who've been digging ditches, we didn't even touch that retirement age. See, let me tell you, there's math in this game, and there's myth. They're both four-letter words. We do math. A lot of people do myth. And thank God you use facts. Because let me tell you, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but nobody's entitled to their own facts. And that was Moynihan's view. But let me tell you, the stuff you have to wade through when you've got Grover Norquist pumping stuff into the machine and Who the says ARP, no taxes, no increases under any well, conditions, and sign he's here. He's wandering right? the earth in his white robes trying to pull <laughs> that one off. Jer Jared, here's a fact that without Social Security benefits, the poverty rate among seniors would go from 9% to about 45%. Yeah. Okay? I, I but that means that 55% <laughs> are not dependent on Social Security, at least not to be in poverty. It means that rich people are collecting Social Security. It means that Warren Buffett and Bill Gates in his time will collect Social Security. Should they? They should collect some, but uh, Why? Uh, uh, because it's, uh, the universality of the program is actually, I think, one of its great attributes. Do you agree with that, that everybody should always get Social I mean, that's No, I don't. Uh, well, it's in your plan. I mean, uh, you don't take benefits uh, away. There's from a lot in the plan I didn't agree with, but <laughs> I voted for it. it. Stuff hits me, oil and gas, depletion allowance, coal. A lot of things hit me right in the gut that I didn't like at all, but I voted for it because somebody's got to get cracked. Exactly. Thank so you, you work for you. Well, you wait, let me, can I respond uh, to yeah. some of the, see, I, I'd like to just add a few different views into the mix on Social Security um, and, and, and add, add, add a few new facts as well. First of all, it's not clear to me, and I would suggest that if you guys find these uh, facts to be convivial to you, that you might actually add them to your list. I don't believe there was 
I, I'm not aware of anywhere where anyone said anything about these programs should not get this large. In your introduction, you said something no one ever expected. Well, you think that people anticipated in 1935 that we would be living, living to 80 years old? You think that people anticipated? I don't know what they anticipated, the, well, but they didn't I, anticipate in 1935 that there would be a baby boom because it hadn't happened yet. But, there, and there, there's no way to anticipate now what the population is going to look like 75 years from now. But we're building those anticipations and forecasts into our views on this. <laughs>